Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We have been seeing a lot of unarmed drones being developed by private firms. However, there are only few who can develop armed drones and Economic Explosives Limited Nagpur is one such firm. Last year in November during his visit to defense establishments in Nagpur, late CDS General Vipin Rawat was briefed on projects undertaken by EEL. He had visited the company and was given an overview on the latest products being developed by company including multi-mode hand grenades and various other explosives, missiles and armed drones. EEL is a 100% subsidiary of Solar Industries India. As per the latest report, the company has developed lottery munitions and tested it in association with Bengaluru-based Z-Motion Automation Private Limited. But before we discuss in detail about its lottery munition, it's also worth discussing the major development done by this firm. Back in August 2021, EEL has provided Indian Army with multi-mode hand grenades MMHG, to replace the World War II era grenades under service with the Army. The grenades have been designed by Terminal Ballistic Research Laboratory of DRDO and EL had been selected as the manufacturing partner under TOT in 2016. Extensive trials were successfully undertaken by Indian Army and DGQA between 2017-18 in plains, desert and high altitude over summer and winter. EL had signed a contract with the Ministry of Defense on 1st October 2020 to supply 10 lakh modern hand grenades to the Indian Army and Indian Air Force. The deliveries would be spread over next two years. Now let's talk about uh, the main topic of discussion which is lottery munition. EEL has indigenously developed lottery munition system or suicide drones to operate along the Indian frontiers on all kinds of weather and terrains. The munition lotters over a given region locates the target, swoops down to strike. It's quite similar to Israel's striker lottery munition which armed forces has ordered last year. There are three versions of the UAV being developed by company weighing 1.5 kg, 4 kg and 10 kg with a range of 15 km, 25 km and 100 km respectively. The company has developed two fixed wing and one hexacopter model of the drone. The fixed wing model is also called as LM1 and LM0. The user trial of one of the model was conducted back in January 2021. Now as per the latest report from Financial Express, all the three newly developed lottery munitions including hexacopter have been tested successfully last month in Nubra Valley area of Ladakh. The LM1 and LM0 or Lottery Munition 1 and Lottery Munition 0 during the test achieved full endurance of 60 minutes. The hexacopter in its 30 minutes flight created history to be the first man portable lottery munition with 4 kg warhead and was successfully tested at a flight ceiling of 4500 meters. This was facilitated by the Army Design Bureau. Next, the drones with higher payload will be tested. EL will deliver the systems to armed forces in coming months once the order for the same is received. The production cost of lottery munitions is going to be much lesser than what is being imported at present. There are more than 80% indigenous contents and they meet the global quality and safety standards. The company claims that these products will be economical by almost 40% when compared to their imported counterparts. These drones will be used against personnel bunkers and ammunition depot and are going to be game changer in future battles due to their long ranges. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.